Can I come and miss? How can you be so late? Have you seen time? You are ten minutes late now. Stay outside. You will not join us today. I am so sorry. I was on time when I left from my house, but in the way to school there was an accident happened. So due to traffic jam, I stuck there. That was no my fault, Miss. Please forgive me for being late today. Don't argue with me now. Do what I told you earlier. Hey Shen, what happened to my lovely son? Why are you crying, baby? Oh, mom. Does anything happened in your school? Mom, my teacher scolded me for being late. But how was you late? You was on time when you left the house. Yes, mom, but in the way, due to an accident and traffic jam, I reached late. Oh, my son. You should have explained this to your teacher. I told her mom, but she didn't even try to listen to me. She throws me out. Oh really? Mom, are you making fun of mine? No, my son. I just remember my own school days. These are normal things. I was also thrown out from the class even many time. Seriously, mom? Yes, my son. Now take some rest and finish your homework. Good morning, students. Tomorrow we will have a speech competition in our classroom. You all have to prepare same topic, and the best one will be rewarded. And if any one of you would be absent, then I will have the best punishment ready. Mom, what is the topic? Air pollution. Okay, ma'am. Hey, son. Why are you still awake? It's so late. You should sleep now. You also have to go to school in early morning, otherwise you are again going to be late. Mom, I am preparing for tomorrow's speech competition. I have to perform best in my class. I am so happy that my son is doing so hard, but you also need good sleep as well. Okay, Mom, I will sleep soon. Omg, why your body is so hot? You are having high fever. Let me call the doctor. He is having fever. I am prescribing some medication. Give him these on time, or make sure he is resting and sleeping properly. Okay, doctor. I hope he will get fine soon. For sure, Mrs. Sarah. I will take a leave now. You take care of Shan. Okay, doctor. So Shan, why was you absent from last class? I already warned you. Now get ready for punishment. But, ma'am, I was seriously ill. That was the reason I can't came. You always have some kind of excuses. I don't believe in you. You are just an excuse maker. Now get out of my class for a whole year. That's your punishment. Please, miss, don't do this to me. I want to be in the class. I can do anything for the please. Last time, forgive me. Okay, but in one case. If what you are saying is true, then right now you have to give that last day speech. And if I liked it, then I am going to allow you to sit in my class. And if you failed, then get out without my saying. My greetings to everybody present over here, and thanks for giving your precious time. Today, I would like to deliver a speech on air pollution, which has become a major challenge in recent times. In spite of the monologue, I would like it to be a fruitful interaction. Hence, your views are welcome. Air pollution means mixing of external hazardous gases and particulate matter in the air, which ultimately route inside our body through inhalation. These gradually lead to respiratory disorders and hence affect the health of human beings. Hence, nowadays, air pollution is becoming a major concern for humanity. Nature is an asset given to us. It has given life to living beings. And to pass on this asset to our offspring, as it is, we need to take good care of it. If we need our future generations to grow up in a healthy environment, then we need to take the steps now. We need to stop cutting the trees for the sake of the construction of residential colonies or factories. We need to adopt public transports for long distances and bicycles for shorter distances, 
so as to reduce the smoke and emissions and thereby reducing air pollution. Mother Nature needs to be taken care of well for the flourishing of our upcoming generations. Let's take a pledge now to respect and protect our environment. Thank you all for listening and for giving your precious time. Very good Shan I am impressed none of your other classmates have given such a great spec I am proud of you. Thank you so much miss.